Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to record FX3 RAW on Ninja V. Now as per Sony, FX3 is capable of doing 16-bit RAW but as per we know that Ninja V is not capable of recording 16-bit RAW, it can record only 12-bit ProRes RAW. So to set up Ninja V, make sure that on input you have selected HDMI. Then you need to make sure that ProRes RAW is activated on Ninja V. If not, scan the QR code and activate it by the key which you will get by following the process on Atomos website. As per now, I am assuming that you have activated ProRes RAW on your Ninja V. Now one more thing which you need to make sure on Ninja V is make sure that you have latest firmware version of Ninja V installed on it after that let's just do the camera settings so to do that what you need to make sure is to enable the log shooting in your camera so to do that what you need to do is in settings go to shooting and in there on the image quality and recording just go down and in there there should be log shooting when you click on that what i keep it always on is uh, cine ei so you can click on cine ei and now your log shooting is enabled and after that we need to enable 4k raw output on hdmi port so to do that what we do is basically we go all the way down in setup and in setup we scroll down till we see external output and in external output on the HDMI output we go down and we can see raw output and we need to turn it on when we turn it on it should show and it should be enabled if it's not turning on then what it means is that your HDMI cable is not 4k and it cannot pass through 4k 50 frames so change the cable and make sure you have a 4k 50 frame cable one more thing for the camera setting is just to make sure that your camera is on the latest firmware to avoid any of the mishaps. and when on your Ninja V you are trying to record and it's not recording it can be because of your SSD because it's maybe not able to record that much data so you need to go on Atomos website and check which SSDs are capable of doing that ProRes RAW recording make sure that you have those SSDs instead of any of the slower SSD I hope this video was helpful for you guys if it was please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more informative videos like this thank you so much for watching